Okay, so first thing we have to make is a grass-like texture in ZBrush. Okay, let's see. How is this going to work? Uh, probably uh, Cube 3D. Or no, Plain 3D. Yes, okay, that works. Then I'm going to cheat and BZM. Shift F. Oh, that's not good. Uh, yikes. Uh, initialize. Oh man, I need to make Polymesh 3D. Okay, now initialize Cube 3D, but let's bring everything down to one. Okay, perfect. Now, let's uh, cut this up right there. And uh, Cube Mesh that away. Okay, now we need to focus on bringing this out a little bit. So, like that, like that, alt to select multiple edges, sides, planes, polys, Right. Same thing over here. Okay. Duplicate the distance. Okay. Then let's try and get rid of all of these. Okay, now we've just got one big flat box. Okay. So now we need a grassy or no let's let's do uh, a dirt like okay shift F <clears throat> just so we can see what's going on okay I like this I'm going to open up geometry turn off smooth subdivide divide a few times then turn it on wait no never mind keep it off Keep it off. Let's go to, yeah, 1.5 million. That's good. Okay, now BCB. Let's change the alpha. Okay, I'm going to start with alpha 23. Draw, or increase the draw size. And I'm just going to sketch on this to see what this looks like. Yeah, no, okay. Control Z. Ray. See what that looks like. That's interesting. I like that. It just needs some color now. So, okay. Color, fill object, yes. Now our box is this brown like color. Okay, now let's select a green type color and start painting on it. Oh, that's really nice. I like that a whole bunch. Sweet. Okay. That looks like grass. Sweet. Okay, control Z. Let's uh, turn perspective off. Hmm. And probably floor. Right, now control, click, and select the bottom half of this cube box thing. Okay, now when we paint on this, the uh, bottom side won't be affected. So yeah, just like that. That looks really nice. I'm going to turn down the Z intensity a lot and then see what that looks like. Whoa, I am almost done. Cool. Oh, control Z. Let's do this all on one, one thing. Okay. Now, if this was creating polys, polygons, um, it would be making a lot of uh, geometry. Doesn't look like it did. Oh, that's so cool. I made that. <laughs> that's pretty intense. Okay, 
I love it. Okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, if you were going to model this and stuff, right now there is 1.5 million polygons. Good luck getting that into your game. Unreal Engine 4 may be really, 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 really powerful, but um, I don't know. That might be too much for it. Okay, anyway, let's do our magic. So Z plugin, UV Master, uh, drag that up. Work on clone gives us the bare minimum, or you know, before we started to uh, divide, divide, divide. Okay, Z plugin, uh, unwrap, thinking, thought, done. Okay, copy UVs. Nice. Then go back to the other one. Oh, that looks so beautiful. I don't even think I could make that in Photoshop. Well, eventually, because Photoshop's pretty powerful, but... Yeah, anyway. Okay, where was I? Okay. Uh, the, okay. Uh, paste UVs. Right, okay. So then, we go to uh, UV map 2048. I could use a big texture, but I'm going to do a lot of things, so I don't want things to freak out. Okay, 2048, texture map, create, new from polypaint. Oh yeah, that looks interesting. Okay, anyway, that is done. Now we can bring the geometry all the way back down to eight points. Very, very small. And guess what? We have our first Unreal Engine uh, piece. Grassy, textured, uh, boxy thing. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to save this just so nothing happens. Then I'm going to export. Or, yeah, Z plugin, FBX, export, import, uh, default settings, export. Okay, I like putting things in my pictures folder. Oh, let's, let's make a folder. Yeah, let's do it. New folder marathon that will be easy to locate okay go in marathon uh, grass square no that doesn't look good okay yeah grass square FBX and that is going to save that perfect now let's see what that looks like in Unreal Engine 4. So Alt Tab to Unreal Engine. This is a project that I just created. So we can put all of our stuff into it. ZBrush 4R7 to Unreal Engine 4. Nice. 4.10. Yeah, okay, so let's uh, let's get rid of all of this. Uh, most of it. I'm going to keep one of those cubes just because it's fun to shoot. Or a few of them just because it, again, is fun to shoot. And get rid of the walls. Nice. Okay. Good. Now, let's uh, create a new folder. New folder. Marathon. Sweet. Okay. Import pictures. Where's my folder? Where's my folder? Monster Marathon. Okay, grass square. This should load very quickly. Import all. Uh, the 2048 texture, like that. 20, yeah, 2048 by 2048, just like we wanted. And it imports the cube or square thing. Let's drag it into our scene just to see how small it is. F to frame. Oh, that's not so bad. I think I can get away with that. <laughs> that is so tiny. So tiny. Ding! <laughs> well, 
Yep, we're almost done. <laughs> okay, Contr uh, alt tab. Sorry, alt. Yeah, go to ZBrush. And this doesn't always work that well. It it looks weird, but it doesn't do anything. It it still works. Okay, let's increase the Z intensity. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's good. Z plugin export grass square in the marathon folder. Save it. Okay. Perfect. Looking good. Now let's go back to our folder. Now hopefully this isn't ginormous. Reimport. Okay, that's a good size. Whoa, where is it? Oh, it's it's under there. Can you see it? Let's see. Nope. Oh, there it is. Ta-da! That is so cool. I like that. Let's play. See what that looks like. Yeah. Cool. We're almost done. Oh, it's so exciting. Cool. Marathon. Whoa. Ooh, then they just disappear. Okay. Cool. Okay. Now, what is next? We need to make branches to place on our grass texture. Uh, before I'm, I, you know, um, stop this video, I was going to, uh, let's see, uh, zoom out. Okay, Alt. Click and duplicate this. Okay. And then probably just rotate just so it doesn't look all the same. And then duplicate. Oh, that looks good. Whoa, okay. And then rotate. Yeah, that's good. And one more time. Wait. Yeah. Alt, drag, move, then rotate, rotate. Perfect. Okay, let's see how that looks. Whoa. I like it. Cool. There, there is a seam here, but that's that's okay. We can put sticks there or something. Okay, that is the end of this video. In the next video, we are going to be making branches in ZBrush for R7. Thanks for watching, everybody.